<laughs> Good morning. I promise it's gonna get a lot better. How are you feeling? Good. You hungry? Yeah, me too. Well, let's snuggle for a bit. It's been a while. After our first date, I got a little worried. Well, I mean, I'm allowed to worry. I don't. I. I may be me, but I. It doesn't mean I get to predict the future. I'm a god, not a fate. Is that weird? Well, I mean, it's not weird on my end. Um, I'm. I mean, I. I understand my situation's a little unique, but um, you know, let's. That's not normal for a lot of people on your side of things, and I just want to make certain that you're still comfortable with this. Hmm. Good. Well, it's not... It's not like it hasn't happened plenty of times before. I mean, I don't exactly have the uh, family with the best track record of uh, coloring within the lines, I guess you could say. We are, we are a dysfunctional bunch at best, aren't we? I mean, most of the stories about us are uh, altered or changed, but they're nonetheless crazy yeah the swan thing um no uh, no that didn't happen quite like they said either uh i mean i wasn't i wasn't exactly there for that part but um that just i don't know i don't know what's going on with that um Mm. I love to run my hands up and down your sides. They're so comfortable. And this is my way of seeing you, and you always look so beautiful. Um. Hmm. I really like this spot on your shoulder Like just before it reaches your neck Such a perfect little curve hmm. Me? Oh <laughs> Thank you Where, oh, um, my, uh, I know that, um, it seems odd, but we only need the one wing to show for the tattoo th part. The other one hides perfectly. It is, it is a little strange, isn't it? Um... You've been doing some reading, I see. Yes, um, Psyche did get wings, so she has a tattoo as well, but hers looks different. Just like her wings look different. Um, that's, that's, uh, a different part of the story, um, but, um, uh, what about... What about food? You getting hungry now? 
Okay. Um. Yeah, they're already making it. Who's they? Um. Those would be my servants. You didn't see them? Well, that, uh, that would make sense. Um, you, you can't see them. Um, that is the work of my mother and me. Um, well, uh, after Psyche and I talked and we wanted to, to have a relationship. My mother was furious. Um, she didn't show it, though. Um, that might be another bit of advice should you meet her. Uh, she's not going to let on that she's angry, but she is going to do something about it, just not to your face. Um... And she decided to convince me that Psyche could never love me like I could love her because she'd never understand what it was like to be blind. So to acclimate her to this, I needed to darken the halls of my home and turn my servants permanently invisible. And in my youth and inexperience, I obeyed my mother, and my servants are entirely invisible. It took some doing, but uh, they are undetectable. Even for me, they are a challenge to detect. Um, but they... They're treated quite well. I make certain of it. Um, I, I hate that I've done it now, but... Does it, does it bother you that we talk about my ex so much? I mean, I know that I, I have hedony, and... You're... you're you're probably going to want to know about her, but we... I can't seem to jump that far ahead so easily. And there's a lot to take in. Okay. You understand, though, that Psyche and I are are, are done. Um, we're, we really are. I mean, we're, we're okay with each other. There's Psyche's not going to be a, a, a problem for you. Or for me. Um, I just want to. Want to make that clear. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so. So Psyche. Got permission from her father. Which. Came as easily as he had ever come. Uh, of course her sisters were. Just beside themselves. And I don't know why. Her sisters were very beautiful and very successful, but they just never liked that Psyche was the way she was. Well, she was always a little cold, um, logical. I kind of liked it at the time. It was refreshing to just have the truth bared to you without much of a filter. But she was brought to my side of Mount Olympus, um, and I made certain that she was waited on hand and foot like no mortal had ever been treated, because I didn't know what to do, and I didn't like that she'd never get to see me. Because that was the arrangement. She said that the only way that that 
Psyche could truly love me as if she suffered the same fate as me and wanted to stay by my side. And, of course, Psyche and I were not so shallow, and that made matters worse, although Mother did get to her eventually. You see, I could only visit Psyche at night, and Psyche had never really had much of a good look at me. We'd always spoke, but out of fear that something would go wrong, I tried to remain hidden. And now we could touch, and we could love, but we we still couldn't see each other, or rather, I could see her just fine, <laughs> much like I'm doing now with you, um, but she couldn't see me in the dark, and uh, Mother convinced her that I was a monster, that I was a hideous creature, and that's why I hid myself. So with our dual bits of misinformation, one night, Psyche managed to build a candle, or at least hide one. I'm not sure what she did. And she got it lit and saw me. And I, of course, took that as mother being right, that her curiosity was her actually being shallow. And that was our first big fight. Yeah. It seems so petty now that I look at it, but we were young and in love, and to each the other, we had betrayed each other. She thought that I was a hideous monster, because why would she not believe my mother? And I thought that was cruel of her to not be so shallow, and of course that was what I was told by my mother. So, um, things from there get a little dark. So, I think maybe I'll stop there. Oh no, this is a, this is a long story. <laughs> Again, I don't want to bother with it with you. It's, it's all the past now. What will the servants make? Oh, they probably know. They're fantastic at gathering information for me. I never bother to use it much unless it was with you. Um, knowing where you were those past few years so that I knew where to find you to try to fix the mess I'd made. Yes, I'm... I suppose that's not very acceptable of a mortal to do that. Um, I've mentioned we, we make terrible humans. Um, well, I'm far from some of my family members who will treat you like playthings. Um, but um, I do I do overstep my bounds, so it's wrong of me and I'm sorry. But, again, it was all to fix the mess that I'd made, and <laughs> I'm, I'm rather happy with the result so far. Are you? Good. And, and you don't... Ooh, you're shivering... Oh, don't be nervous. Why would on earth would you be nervous? <laughs> uh, 
I'm the god of sex. I'm not the god of judgment. Oh my goodness, you are so, so beautiful. No. There is no comparison. No, there isn't. And that isn't, a, that isn't just that you are equally as beautiful as Psyche was. I mean, you are so tremendously beautiful. There's no comparison between you and the next person and the next person and the next person. You're so unique. Who could ever be you? And that's... That's tremendous. It's awe-inspiring. Maybe it's because I can't see, but... You don't see what I know. You have such wondrous... Angles and curves and textures of your skin the the feel of your hair it's all so different for me and yet it's all so similar it's like being with you is much like coming home it just feels like I should have been here all along Don't, don't ever think that you're not as beautiful as anyone up in Olympus or anywhere, because you're you, and we could never forge something so beautiful. You should never be so self-conscious, at least not out of fear of me. I've made my mind up. Now, I leave the offer at your feet. If you change your mind, that's, that's okay. I'll, I'll be sad, of course, but I'll understand. But don't ever think that I will ever compare you to anyone. I love you, darling. May I call you that? Of course. You may call me anything you like um other than other than than uh baby cuz baby reminds me of the 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 baby paintings and even though i can't see them that flusters me i don't i don't know why <laughs> um i believe the servants are ready with breakfast if you'd like could we get up and I'd love to spend my day with you if you'd let me. Oh, don't worry about them. They they know to leave the room. Oh, they've they've not been in the room. I promise. They've just been in the kitchen, and uh, once we head into the dining room, they'll they'll stay in earshot. But um. Oh oh okay. Uh, you want. You want to, you still want your breakfast to be hot, though, don't? Oh, oh, you! I thought I was insatiable. Oh, very well then. 